Hey, I'm Kristen Hostetter. Welcome to Backpackers Gear School. I want to show you a couple things about choosing the right size sleeping bag. Um, sleeping bags are definitely not one size fits all. So when you go to the store, have a plan and uh, follow these tips and you're, you'll be sure to find the right bag for you. Um, first of all, when you, when you go in to check out sleeping bags, wear, try to wear pretty much what you think you might sleep in when you're out camping. I normally, for three seasons, wouldn't, wouldn't wear this to bed, so I'm going to take it off. I'm wearing, you know, one, one single layer, which is pretty typical of what I'd wear to bed. Um, so, and, you know, the thing about sleeping bags is a lot of people don't realize this. It, similar to backpacks, you've got to try them on before you buy. So, you know, get, get down on the ground, get inside as many bags as you can, because you're going to find that they fit really differently. Um, this bag, this Sierra Designs bag, actually has pad straps along the bottom um, that keeps the pad securely attached to the bag so you're not rolling off. Um, some other big Agnes bags have a pad sleeve. If you're looking at a bag that has that feature, make sure that you actually attach a pad. That way you're going to get the right, um, the, the right size volume. You're going get, to get the real feel of the bag as you're trying it on. So, so you know, crawl inside as many bags as you can. Get a sense of length and volume. Okay, this bag is a great length for me without too much at the, uh, at the bottom of the bag, and, um, but yet not too little either so that I feel cramped. Um, and, and let's see, here's, here's one thing that, that I always do when I'm checking out bags, zippers. I mean, there are zippers that snag left and right all the time, and then there's zippers that run smooth. So, you know, check, this, check the zipper out, run it back and forth a few times, take it on a couple test drives. This one's actually really pretty smooth. So I'm going to zip it all the way up, hunker down inside the bag, get my head inside the hood, and, and start cinching things down to make sure that I like the seal around the neck and to make sure that I can operate uh, the drawstrings easily to make sure the Velcro doesn't scratch my cheek, stuff like that. So the other thing to do when you're inside a bag is, you know, think about are you a side sleeper or a back sleeper? Um, and you know, you want to be able to, to get into your favorite position easily inside the bag and have enough room to rotate within the bag if that's your thing. <sighs> I'm getting hot in here. So those are a couple tips uh, for sizing and choosing the right sleeping bag.